Hello and welcome to Indie Investigations. My name is James Bartholomew and today we're looking at a game called Binaries by Ant Workshop. This is a little platform which has a great little twist to it. But before we get into that, let's go look at the options. We've got play statistics and see how many levels I've completed. How many times I've died? 125 times. Uh, that shows how difficult the game is going to be. Most deaths on was on five, 35 deaths on that level. Wow. Jeez, okay. Design is fired one. One designer was fired in the make of binaries. Uh, the game doesn't come out until the 4th, so you're going to see lower numbers here on total deaths. That, those sorts of statistics. But we'll go back to the map now, and we'll jump into one of the earlier levels. Just down here. Level 2. I haven't quite figured out the level naming system yet. I think the blue ones are lower level, lower numbers? I'm not entirely sure, but the first level is level one times two. So here we go. We've got these two, two guys that are mirrored perfectly in every move they make. Don't figure out how to jump over to the end. And here we go. Crikey, this game's easy, isn't it? The game has a fantastic sense of, of humor so far. And the soundtrack, which I, you guys should be able to hear, is sublime. It's jumpy enough it's fun enough it's clever meet blue and orange head for the checkerboard okay so first couple levels teaching what the game's about and it's about platforming it's about controlling two little balls of light through a platform so countdown stuff that can kill you and so i believe that means at the end of the level there's gonna be stuff that can kill me It's easy, right? It's an e easy game so far. Generic platformer, you jump, you move you guys at the same time. Alright, so now we have to jump our guys like that. So you see a little bit a little bit of the the binary coming in. You have to control two different characters at the same time. And now we'll go to Oh, you know what? Maybe my theory on the colours was I never noticed that, but it looks like the colours change in the levels. Okay. So now here, can you guess what spikes do? <laughs> yeah, the sense of humor is great. The dialogue is is they're, they're a little bit distracting when they pop up in the middle of a jump, but it also gives a little bit of a respite when you're failing. All right, so on this one, we have to jump these guys around, and it's actually a mechanic that I forgot about. Where I am in the game, the same color can't die on the on its spikes. So run him down there. He'll jump up. Whoop. Level complete. No new person. Oh, new person best there. Okay. You guys get the idea. The game is very much about just controlling those two guys through some very, very hairy and scary platforming. So now let's jump up to a harder level that I've completed. I think this is the one that I died 35 times on. All right. So you see here, I've we'll jumped right up there. And then we're going to jump orange. Oh. Nope, that's our first death. Now if we jump blue down there, then we move orange further up. We jump orange up. Yeah, so everyone loves footnotes, not everyone. And then there's going to be another note in a moment. I do. Yeah, I think the, the sense of humor is wonderful. It really is. There we go. So actual platforming, having to think about where each was going to be at the right time. This level I died 35 times on. And this one is one of the more tricky ones. We have to actually worry about actual spatially. I'm not going to try and beat this one because I've beaten it once. It's going to take me a buttload more tries to beat it a second time. But you can see where the game begins to make you worry about spatial awareness there, right? We'll, go, we'll just quit that level because not worth giving you, subjecting you guys to that, that pain. But the game... The instant reloads and the, there's so the collectibles in this level. You got the collectibles take down your time. Oh, uh oh. So if we jump him up there, then we've got these these rays coming down. Can I get killed by blue rays? I think DVD got killed by blue rays. Oh. 
Oh, okay. So the blue guys can get killed by blue rays, obviously. Oh, wait. Maybe I have an idea. Ah! Yeah, this game's great at, make, at making it feel frantic, but the instant reloads are critical. And they work great. Oh, that's not gonna help. Oh god, what have I done? Yeah, and the game, when you mess up a jump like that, it can get tricky. Or, I don't think tricky is the right word. It can get messed up pretty bad so luckily you have an instant restart feature which is super super wonderful to have in a game like this oh that's right the blue blue rays kill blue guy all right man if i jump like like that all right maybe not not a lot i like that the, the, some of the the dial there we go ah ah i was close there sorry about the yelling this is, this is one of those games that, that really gets you invested in what's going on. There we go. Yeah, that's all right. A, six seconds. It's not bad. Well, six seconds of a minute's tries, but, you know. All right, so this level is staggering. How so? I think it's wanting us to do this. Nope. Okay, so there are some jokes. Yeah. I love sense of humor in video games, developers that make fun of their own games, and these guys have done that very well. Put blue in there, there we go. There are some simple levels, some ones that let you just, you know, play around. But it's very much a game that, that is 100% skill based. If you if a level clicks with you, then it clicks with you and you're done. <laughs> Never trust quotes and that. Yeah, there's some great, 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 great humor here. I don't know, guys. This is this is one of those games that I think just has that charm that a lot of games, or I'm not gonna say a lot of games lack, but that I haven't seen many games having recently. This game doesn't take itself very seriously. It just says, you know what? Let's make a platformer and maybe have a little bit of fun with it. And that soundtrack, well, as I said earlier, is... Ooh, those are big spikes. People say this game's... Ha <laughs> ha! There, there was actually a joke earlier on about... Um, oh, what have I done here? Uh, let's restart that one. There was a joke earlier on about how the game was in fact not an indie game because it doesn't have pixel art. Which is, you know, great. Yeah, you know, I think that's... I, I don't want to go too much further because I'm just going to start showing level solutions soon. But let's go back to this, this level I died 35 times on, which we showed earlier. You can see that there's there's definitely a lot of thinking about where each ball is going to be. Now this one you have to think, will, when I jump there, will that ball fall? Or will will that ball get blocked into falling? Or will it... It's absolutely a puzzle solving game. And it's wonderful. I, I really I, I really like binaries and... Alright, you guys check it out, it's on Steam. Uh, I don't have a price list, there wasn't a price list in the press release. So, I apologize about that, but I recommend it. You know, if, yeah, I think this is good. Binaries is up there on great platformers. Again, it's better to develop, develop, develop it, developed, I forgot to speak English. Uh, it's developed by Ant Workshop and it can be found on Steam and, and GOG, I believe. I'll follow that up and I'll put it in the description if it can. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, as always, have a great day. Take care and bye-bye.